on door three. Cannons to the rear. Trailer on negative 10. Two load locks in the trailer. In the truck. Hey, where are you going? I guess we could go around there if you want. Come on. Look at all the ant hills. We're about to we're gonna mess with them all. Don't go down in the duty. We're over here, and I think it's Ozark, Alabama. We were sleeping. We're getting ready to go. We're heading home next. Well, we're heading to Ohio, and then home. I don't want to kick them too hard, because then ants will get on me, and I'll be screwed. Feels like an ant got me, Ruth. It's pretty over there. What's that? I slept all day again. I just like to run at night. I do and I, I do and I don't. It's a love-hate relationship. But I like to sleep. I was tired. And I'm in no hurry. Because I don't got to be over the McLean till 1 a.m. on Monday. up there I don't know if you can see it time to get a pre-trip and eat this food and get going probably roll till three or four in the morning then go on break and then drive the rest of the way and deliver to Lockbourne Ohio McLean's and after that find a place to dish the trailer and go to the house because I'm done Maybe 
I'll get that up in Nashville. Going through there. No, am I? No, I'm not even going through there. Not by, not by where that that blue beacon is. Glendale would be the only place. Glendale, Kentucky. At the Petro. I gotta get that spot. If I miss it, I'll be mad. I gotta look through that bug right there in the middle of my vision. 74 gallons. Let's see if we can squeeze in another. I doubt we can get in enough. We're gonna have to go to the other side probably. We weren't paying attention very good. That's a big ass leaf. Look at that thing. Wonder what it come off of. This here probably. I don't know. It's cold out. It's cold up here. Compared to where I was down there in Alabama. I don't like it. It's only 35 degrees. <laughs> There's frost on the ground. I don't like cold. I don't like winter. Rudy, you like it? We're over here in uh, Tennessee, north of Nashville. I'm not quite sure what town it is. I'd have to look it up. It's exit 108, that I know. It's got the Taco John's. White House, Tennessee. It's usually hard to find a spot to park in here, but if you come at the right time, you can. You gotta come at like three o'clock in the morning or, or noon or something like that. If you come in at like three, between 3 p.m. and like 3 a.m., you, no, you ain't gonna find nowhere to park in here. That's the way most loveses are, though. Most lovesies. Rue! I'm gonna get you! <laughs> it's about... One. Something like that. Come out of there. What are you doing? Get out of there. Go out there and get around there and go out there. Go out. Get out. Go. Go on. Go out. Go out. All right, come on. I gotta leave here by three o'clock this time. That's four o'clock. Eastern time, then I'll have eight hours to go. Well, really nine to go six. But if I leave at four, that'll be five. And then I'll have seven hours to go six. Really eight, because it ain't doodle. 
but I always put an extra. Like if it's due at 1 a.m., I'll, I'll in my mind I'll say it's due at 12 a.m. That way I've always got that extra hour built in here. And then if I need that hour, sometimes I'll use a little bit of it. Most of the time I don't. This little mutt dog. You want to pet her? <laughs> she just jumps out. Get your ham sandwich. Yeah. I bet yeah, I think it is yeah. Do you care if I give him a treat? I don't care. He's got a biscuit. Go get it. That's what she, she knows. <laughs> you gonna leave it there? You eat it later? She's a German Shepherd, right? She's just a mutt, but she looks like a German Shepherd. Oh. Alright, man. Thanks, man. No problem. Get her cleaned up for me. Okay. You ready? You want me to open it? Come here. They ain't got no more buddies in there to give you any. <laughs> yeah. Come on, let's go. You done? Can you brush my windshield? Yeah. Thanks. Come on, let's go.
a dry load? No, it's chicken. Huh? It's chicken load. What time's your appointment? One. Just wait until you see one of these doors open and pull in. One of these four? Yeah, there's no doors open over here right now. First driver you see pull out, pull in. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, here at McLean's. Last load, then we're going home. Just gotta get unloaded. Uh, it's 11 o'clock in the morning. We're just about getting, getting ready to go home. Had to, could have drove home last night, but I was tired. I wanted some sleep. So I got some sleep and I'm going to head over there. I think I'll keep this trailer. They ain't said nothing to me about dropping it anywhere, so. I was going to just drop it and then drive the truck home, but now I just, I don't feel like dealing with it. I'd just rather go straight home because if I go, I'd have to take it to Pillsbury and Wellston and I'd have to swoop it out or blow it out and that, that's out of the route to go to what, what, uh, Pillsbury. So it'll just sit down. It'll just sit down hooked up to the truck at the truck stop. Locked no, up. We're here at the truck stop by the house, so we gotta get everything ready to get out of the truck. Oh, we gotta put the cuff lock on. Go extra secure. I think mama's coming. She's almost getting here. She left gonna come get us all right gotta get all the paperwork out all this paperwork from all the loads we did the whole time we were been out these things for the camera I guess they can go home too Take all this beef home that we got from that Walmart clean. We've had it in here for like a while, but it's still good because I had it really cold. These are even frozen. These are all frozen. Almost. These are frozen. This one's kind of not frozen over there. 